Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters for uh, basic Sorgatronomics. Sorgatron.com is where we do things. And uh, it is here in the wee hours of the evening. It is officially June 3rd, so it, it, we're right there. Uh, 2015 and uh, coming off podcast day. And, uh, you know, I really kind of preach the podcast gospel a little bit around here. And um, some cool things have happened. Let me, let me, this is the, this is why I'm down with the podcasting, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, there, there's, there's, there's great moments, and this has been brought up uh, in the past, in the, in the past few even days, you know, talking about some of the cool things we get to do around here. And uh, we were talking with somebody the other day, and they're like, you know, oh, it's cool. And what about when people would visit you? You know, actually, we were talking about podcasting Monday with the uh, Seclair. And I was like, well, yeah, I think it's it's expanding. You know, I mean, we were doing a podcast for a year, and we had a doctor from England, you know, a student doctor, you know, meet us, and because of wrestling, because of this podcast, and and when I think about what we do here uh, every Tuesday, you know, I mean, tonight we connected with old friends in the industry that are now doing awesome things on TV in Ray Bro with Ring of Honor. Uh, guys that I think will be uh, uh, on there sooner or later in, in Dylan Bostic, who is who has 187,000 followers on Twitter, by the way, and is like has, I think there's a picture of uh, 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 Justin Bieber's mother or brother or something wearing one of his wrestling t-shirts. But anyways, I mean, you know, that variety has come to us because of that the fact that we do have i think i determined tonight we have people from three states that join us on a weekly basis a lot of guys a lot of us here of course around pittsburgh and but as close far away two hours away as as johnstown and uh, new york texas a lot a couple people from texas tonight actually and how our world has kind of shrunk I consider these people from Texas and New York. And this is, this is always the argument with social media. You're like, you can't let it replace your personal stuff. And I think there's a healthy, unhealthy point to that. But again, I, I can't reiterate this because I think this is the coolest thing about what we do around here for business, for whatever. I can say that the people that I talk to on really a daily basis that I haven't seen physically in well over a year, if not a couple, are some of my best friends. Are the ones I can talk to about different aspects of life, but are genuine connections. It would be nice to go have lunch with them. It would be nice to do these other things, you know. But... You know, even even uh, my best friend, we don't see each other every week, if even that. And we're in the same town. Hell, we've until recently you lived a hill away, but we're typically on chat, texting, whatever. And uh, that we can do something creative like this on a weekly basis, a lot of commentary, a lot of creativity, a lot of fun that people listen to for some reason. Numbers are there. People are listening in, in some capacity. People are listening. I mean, a debate on how engaged they are, but there is engagement. There's certainly engagement. Holy crap! Look at the look at the board, and and it's not just oh, it's our circle of friends, you know. Even that circle of friends, I think it's the ultimate engagement. Not engagement as in the ring, but realizing how many of those people are our friends because they did a search one time in iTunes, they did a search one time in Stitcher. And Google, whatever the case may be, and they discovered what we do here. In most cases, for pro wrestling, yes. And now they're part of it. We have our own built in recruitment program, basically. And we still look to do that. I mean, how many people are still getting integrated in? Uh, uh, Garza, who brings a little bit of a Spanish-speaking flair to our Lucha Underground discussions on the, on the Thursday show, um, and is a contributor on Patreon as well, uh, is become part of the family there. And I, I have, we, have we had him on the main show? If not, we should very soon. 
I think we have in the past, but you should be back. Definitely. It's a different time zone, so it'll be easy since we're an hour late next week. But, uh, and that's regardless of what happens. And yeah, this is a selling point. I can go and say, hey, look what you can do with podcasts. And don't you want this kind of engagement for whatever it is you're trying to sell? And not that I'm really trying to sell anything with it. It's genuine. I do want to say, hey, and we also do this stuff that we do sell, like you know, for me, wrestling DVDs and stuff, right? Or the promotions that I work with that I'm actually a fan of. But I do work with them, and I want them to do good, so they will continue to pay me for work uh, and, and stuff so I can help them get better. And it's a vicious cycle that's hopefully positive for everybody. Um, or services. Or, you know, ideally I want to do this for a living this this podcasting thing you know or making videos or whatever the case may be but uh since the podcasting thing is the cool thing now whatever that might evolve into could be a version of radio in the future i don't know you know but um that's where we're at certainly where we're at and it's very cool so it makes me think about you know You know, I, as I mentioned, I, I listen to a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk's thoughts on the topic and being genuine and people connectors. And those are the people that will succeed genuinely with this. Um, I am not an analytics nut. You know, I think a lot of I don't know. This, I don't know this completely for a fact, but I think a lot of the people we're generating as social media people. Marketers, whatever maybe journalists, I don't know, are are kind of looking at the numbers. And it's so so interesting because I think a lot of ways there's not a right way to do social media. You can certainly be out there and just push your thing, push your thing. And it's another it's another billboard if you believe in billboards. I believe in the personality. I believe in the kind of personal connection and that's what I try to do a lot of the stuff that's why i think you know the best stuff we do is the stuff where we're on there and we're genuine and we're always trying to adapt that to the people we work with the clients we have the podcasts we're trying to develop and i also think there's also need to be that understanding that we're not going to get this on the first try we did this successfully here doesn't mean it's going to work for you Oh, I want to do something like that. I want to have a connection like you have on that campaign. Well, like, well, we've been doing that for five years, ten years. Um, there's a there's a project I work on. Um, on one client that I I sit on uh, every week, and there was a point, and there was a, there's certain points where I'm doing that, and I'm like, I'm not seeing the engagement. You know, again, kind of look at the numbers and. The numbers don't speak to what's really going on, I think, because you don't know the eyeballs, you know, just because people aren't hitting like buttons or commenting on your thing does not mean that the thing is not that you're not leaving an impression. So people don't engage in that way. And they move on. But there was a breakthrough where, you know, and I've mentioned this before, where they're like, a lot of people are coming in and say they heard about this online. A lot of people are coming in and say they saw this video. Now, a lot of people could be five. But there are people that walked in the door. And that's very, very heavy. That's a very, very heavy number. When we, when we look at our podcast stats and our, and our site stats, and we're like, we got 100 people. We got 100 people looked at the site today. We talked about this a little bit in, in, in my talk with Crystal last week. Um for uh for the evening with podcamp you know that number you get 50 people listening to your podcast holy crap you have 50 people listening to your podcast um there was a good one on podcast method i was listening to we were like 50 people listen to you i thought about this show in particular 50 people listen to you and only you on a solo podcast they're probably listening for you they probably like what you have to say. There's something to really kick, kick you in the butt there. I forget there's somebody on the other end of that lens or the other side of that microphone sometimes. 
Maybe that's why I find my comfort zone and I can be so open about it. Maybe I'm just talking to a mirror. But I'm hanging out with my friends in three different states doing a podcast as well. And I'm glad you guys can join me for all those. So I got to get back to my questions, don't I? I, gotta, I I'm not leaving you guys with any challenges. I, I'm kind of just in a reflective state right now. I don't know if it's because I've been doing these later at night or whatnot. But um, but that's why I do a podcast. And um, it just needs to be restated, I think. Everybody needs to be reminded why they do the thing they're passionate about. Because sometimes the passion runs thin. But it will always come back. Do you agree? No. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.